All right, guys, here's example number three. Um, so these are, you'll, you'll get an example of every type of math that you should be, or you should be able to do here, you're gonna be asked to do. Um, so this example, the containers on a mega cargo ship in the port of Los Angeles have weights that are normally distributed with a mean of 55,600 pounds and a standard deviation of 2,800 pounds. What is the probability that a randomly selected container from a ship weighs between 53,123 pounds and 60,123 pounds. So we're actually going to have multiple steps here, right? So um, if you take a look at what we're looking for, the shaded in area is what we want to know the probability of. Okay. So when we talk about the two different types of tables in Excel, so the 50, looking at the table or looking at the graph as 50%, uh, we are going to find a probability that's attached from 0 to 60,123 and we're also going to use it to find a probability attached from 0 or in this case the mean to 53,123 and that will give us those probabilities. Once again, probabilities give us, uh, in, in the sense of the looking at the table as half, gives us the probability from the mean to that location. Okay. So what we first want to do is convert these uh, pounds into z-scores. So we go ahead and we'll actually look at both at the same time. So this is looking at the 53, the point on the left. So we have 53,123 uh, minus 55,600, which is our mean, divided by our standard deviation of 2,800. We get a negative z-score of 0.88. Okay, so once again, it's negative on the left side. Now from here, uh, we look at the, the point on the right. We have 60,123 minus 55.6 over 2,800, and we get a standard deviation of 1.62. So what does that report? Once again, so we're going to go and find the z-scores attached to a negative 0.88. Um, so we'll do that first. So uh, once again, when we look, talk about the curve as, or the area underneath a normal curve, as half the curve, you're not going to find a negative z-score. Um, but we look at the absolute value of it because they're mere images of each other. So we have here 0.8 and then we want to go to 0.88. So we want to ride this out to here and we get a probability of 0.3106. So if I go to our curve, 0.3106, the probability from here to here is 0 0.3106, which you see down here in the bottom right. So that's the probability from here to here. Now if we go to 1.62, so we go to 1.6 and we go to 2, and we have a probability of 0 0.4474. So 0 0.4474, uh, which is the probability from the mean to this point. So if we want to know the probability from this point to this point, we're going to add those two probabilities together. Okay, so the two probabilities added together, we have a probability of 0 0.7580 is the probability that a randomly selected container from the ship weighs between this value and this value. Okay. Now, the, uh, we also want to take a look at now looking at the curve as a whole. So we, we're going to still use these same numbers. Now, the only difference is, is that looking at it as a whole, we will have some negative now, what this is going to report, so let's just kind of look at this chart real quick. So when we look for the probability that's attached to negative 0.88, it's going to report from the extreme left, which is here, to here. So the probability that we'll find is this attached. The probability of 1.62 is going to go from this point to this point. So think about those two that, and how we're going to manipulate those. So we'll have a probability that's attached from here to here and a probability that's attached from here to here. But what we want is from here to here. So let's talk about what we will do there. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is find the probability that's attached to 0.88, a negative 0.88. So I'm going to go to my curve. Uh, oops. Yep. So I'm going to go to my curve and I'm going to go to point negative, sorry, negative 0.88. And we have negative 0 0.8, uh, 8. so negative 8.8. 8. So we have 1.1894. 1. 
So once again, 0.1894 is the probability attached from here to here. So 0.18. And let me see if I can just, um, I'm just going to type some numbers in here um, so you can kind of see. Something simple. Um, and what we said was point. Uh, 0.1894. So we have 0 0.1894. Oh, 0 0.1894. 0.1894 uh, is the probability. So I'm going to move this down here and just minimize it. So oh, maybe not. Um, I guess it's probably a matter of. Um, size. No. Anyway, I'll just leave it like this because for time purposes. Um, so that's representing from this point to this point. Now the 1.62, if we go to 1.62, 1.62, is 0.9474. So 0.9474, uh, 0 0.9474, 0 0.9474 is going to give us the probability, and let me see, maybe I can like, okay, is going to give us the probability from this point to this point. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how can we uh, how can we manipulate this to get what we need. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to take the 0.9474, which is from here to here, and we want to subtract out this so we're left with this. So we're going to take 9.474, we're going to subtract 0.1894, and we'll get 0 0.7580 as our probability. Okay. Now with Excel, once again, Excel is going to do the same thing, um, but we're actually going to have to do a couple different steps here. So I'm going to go to my normal distribution and my mean. Um, my mean was uh, 55.6. My oh, sorry, my mean is 55, 6. Uh, the first point that I want to observe is going to be that uh, 53, 1, 2, 3. And my standard deviation was uh, 2,800 pounds. And cumulative, yes. Oh, sorry, true. Or um, you can also put in there a one. Uh, one also represents true. So once again, this is from that point from the far left to that uh, that first point, uh, and then we're going to do the same thing with um, normal dist. Let's see if G -G -G -K -N, normal dist. Uh, we're going to do the same thing, but instead we're going to use that second point of 60,123 pounds. So 60,000, actually 60,000, And we get the 946883. So to find the probability that we want, uh, I'm going to take that and subtract from it this. And we'll get the 0 0.7587 that we got uh, down here. Okay. So just another example um, of when dealing with both sides of the curve and how we have to manipulate the data. Uh, one more example uh, of how you are going to use or have to use this information. 